Hello, WCC USD community. Next week, schools and offices will be closed for President's Week, and I hope you get a chance to enjoy a few days of rest and relaxation and try to squeeze in a little fun. Before the break begins, I have a few things to share with you. Last week, we got a chance to see our El Cerrito High School students in the KECG radio station program interview students in the ECHS Thespian program to promote their upcoming performance. I want to recognize radio engineer Latre and interviewer Saraha for their excellent interviewing skills. It was great to hear Ant and Leah promote their work in the program, and I look forward to hearing more. I love to see this great collaboration between our students as they share their passions across CTE and VAPA programs. When our students collaborate to promote each other, they gain a real world sense of how promotion and collaboration work among organizations and industries. You can find our KECG students radio interview on our YouTube channel. This week at De Anza High School, the Air Force Junior ROTC program held a flight simulator event sponsored by the US Air Force. And students had a chance to see a simulation of how our Air Force travels to the Skyways. The De Anza High School flight simulation event had the highest participation rate in the state with over 300 students participating in one day, learning about careers in aeronautics. Congratulations, De Anza High School, and a huge thanks to Principal Pierce and Sergeant Shepard for such an incredible job in teaching our students important disciplinary skills and life skills. It's a core part of my vision to ensure that students have access to hands-on, workplace-ready learning experience in grades K through 12. At all of our middle schools, students have access to career exploration opportunities through either College and Career Readiness Lab class or Gateway to Technology class. In the College and Career Readiness Lab class, a new offering, students experience daily hands-on activities across 18 different career areas, including alternative energy, culinary arts, health science, and robotics. If you or a family you know is interested in taking advantage of specialized programs like CTE, I want to make sure you know that new family enrollment is open and the interdistrict transfer rounds will remain open until February 28th. When you hear our enrollment advertisements on local radio over the next few weeks, please know that the voices you'll be hearing include some of our talented student leaders in the Hercules High School Leadership class. For more information about enrollment, please visit wccusd.net slash wccusd enrollment. This week, I also had the pleasure of joining the Ed Fund team as we announced the winners of the Teaching Excellent Awards. I want to recognize and congratulate Dorcas Sims of Nystrom Elementary School, Andrew Wilkie of Richmond High School, Maria Dazon of Michelle Obama School, and Patricia Ogura of Hercules High School. Maria Dazon and Patricia Ogura were selected to move forward in a County Teaching Excellence Award competition, and we wish them the best. We sincerely thank all of our Teaching Excellent Award winners for their amazing work, dedication, and passion for the success of our students. We know that the success of our district rests on our ability to retain and recruit such talented educators as these. This is why we're thrilled to share that our tentative agreement with the United Teachers of Richmond has passed. This means that the United Teachers of Richmond now join the Teamsters Local 856, the School Supervisors Association, and the West Contra Costa Administrator Association in having settled their contract negotiations and secured a significant salary increase. This agreement reflects the highest two-year total increase that WCCUSD has offered in more than 20 years, a total raise of 14.5% over a two-year period with the first year salary raise beginning retroactively in July, 2022. While financing this historic agreement was not easy, both UTR and the district negotiating team sustained a commitment to these solutions. We are moving forward together. 
Earlier this week, we sent out a summary of these improvements provided by this tentative agreement, including expansion of teacher leadership positions in our community schools initiative, approval for mental health days for our educators, and expansion of paid parental leave. For a complete list of improvements in our new teacher contract, please see bargaining updates on our district website. Thank you.